So the purpose of this video is to show you how I had everything set up last semester to write LaTeX with NeoVim. Now out of the box, even though NeoVim has built-in support for NeoVim, or for LaTeX I mean, uh, it isn't as futureful as your traditional LaTeX editor like TechMaker or an online service like Overleaf. But to uh, get to that level or even uh, better than that, you need some plugins and one of them is Fimtech, which uh, basically is a file type plugin for LaTeX files, as it says right there. But it is a really powerful tool that uh, allows you, for example, to compile your LaTeX document and navigate through your uh, LaTeX document really uh, effectively and uh, comfortable. Now, Installing it is pretty straightforward. You just install it with your plugin manager uh, for Vim or NeoVim. Uh, also, you need to be sure that you have a version of Vim or NeoVim that is supported uh, by Vimtech. And you need a uh, LaTeX or tech distribution or compiler installed on your local machine. Now, by default, the Vimtech plugin will use the LaTeX MK uh compiler but you can specify any other latex uh, compiler uh, with this configuration uh, here now besides that you also want a pdf viewer uh, configured and in this case they show you satura that's the one that i like to use as well and you can set that right here and there are a bunch of other configurations that you can set uh, but you can basically open up the uh what is it the uh, documentation for that now the documentation, you can just open it up with uh, the uh, help command followed by Fimtech. So I'm going to open it, open it up vertically. Uh, so what is it again? Fimtech. And this is a really, uh, the documentation is pretty good. So if I, put, for example, go to default mappings to show you some of the default mappings that are available with uh, Fimtech. So here you can see there's a local leader followed by a key combination of uh, L followed by I, capital I, T, or T, uh, capital T, Q, and so on. If you go back to the uh, repository page of Fimtech, you can see that the uh, default leader key is backward slash, but you can, of course, set it to anything else. Uh, and to show you an example of uh some of the what the key bindings uh, uh do i will close this uh, for example i can open up my table of contents with leader key l t so this will show the table of contents i can uh, navigate through a specific section or like uh, a heading for example i have a figure over here i want to go through there it immediately brings me to that uh, figure uh, or if i want to go to a specific section like uh, uh, this one right here chapter seven or yeah chapter seven uh, and then this section over here so yeah that's really neat uh, also compiling your uh, latex file of course is something that you probably want to do so uh, you can use leader key followed by ll so now i started the compiler in continuous mode and if you give it a minute yeah, so compilation actually failed for me in this case uh, because I have some errors here. But uh, if you don't have any errors, it will actually automatically open up the uh, PDF viewer for you as well. But I can still open it up by pressing the uh, leader key, L and then V. And now, you, as you can see, it has the uh, PDF output over here of your LaTeX document. Now, if, for example, you want to change uh, something in your document, it will automatically reflect in your uh, PDF viewer as well, as long as you have the compiler running. So this right here actually should be designing. So let me save that. And because I have my compiler running, uh, it will change the output over here as well, or update the output over here as well in your PDF viewer. Now, it may take a while, as you can see, it has recompiled and the text has changed as I have uh, done over here. Now, as you can see over here, uh, I have a log of my errors, warnings. That's all shown in this buffer over here. 
But if you are writing, you probably want to uh, perhaps dismiss it for a while while you are writing and uh, give it some attention later on. And you can just press leader key LE. Try that again, LE. And that will basically uh, close that buffer. And you can bring it back again by pressing uh, LE. So yeah, those are just some examples of uh, key bindings uh, that are configured by default with Fimtech. Um, you, yeah, another plugin that I like to use is this one over here, TrueZen, which allows you to have different, different modes for distraction free writing. And the one that I like to use is this one over here, Ataraxis. Ataraxis, I don't know how to pronounce that. But uh, if I show you, basically looks like this. So yeah, I really like it because uh, it's pretty clean and I have a pretty good overview of my uh, text, as you can see over here. And then I would have my PDF viewer here on the right to yeah to basically write everything and uh, I can change this back to white if you're wondering why this is uh, dark that's be basically because of the color scheme that I have uh, set for my PDF viewer but I can easily refer that back to white so yeah uh, that's basically my setup for uh, writing LaTeX in NeoVim and uh, yeah of course you want a uh, language server installed. So if I open up LSP info, I have LTech and Tech Lab, as you can see, and they support uh, these files over here. And that's pretty useful when you want to have auto completion, like if I do use package, for example, and then it also uh, gives me suggestions for, or options of the packages that are available for this function. So yeah, that's something that you want. There's also, uh, it also provides you with spelling mistakes uh, or grammatical mistakes. So if I would, for example, write uh, pancake like this, and I save that, it, it tells me that uh, there's a possible spelling mistake over here. So that's why you need a language server as well, because if, if I would disable my language server, you can see that those uh, warnings disappear, and I also won't have any uh yeah auto completion as you can see right here so yeah uh that's my whole setup yeah i'm not going to do an in-depth tutorial because you can use the documentation for this one actually and there's also an article out there that is uh, pointed to in the official repository of fimtech that you can use to learn more about the fimtech plugin which is the main plugin that you probably want to use when you are writing LaTeX with neofim mm -hmm.